What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. This is your Monday motivational video for your day and the rest of your week if you want to apply it. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I had a quiet weekend. It wasn't too crazy. Um, let's see. Saturday I didn't do much. Worked, of course. Did videos. Uh, we went out to the mall. Had a good time out there. Had dinner. Came back. Yesterday, the weather out here was absolutely insane, but I ended up going to my sister's house because um, they like watching football on Sundays, but I only go to eat, so I'm not a really big football fan, so <laughs> um, I did that and worked. Today was pretty productive, got up today, um, went to the gym, had a really good workout, um, Went to get myself a massage, which was much needed. Then I took myself out to lunch, came back, started doing some work, and here I am. So, you guys saw that I started gaming again yesterday. Um, if you guys want to go over and just make sure that your notifications are on so you guys can get notified when I jump on to do my gaming. Um, currently still playing uh, I was about to say The Last of Us. I just finished doing a reaction to the trailer to the movie. Um, uh, Elden Ring. So if you guys want to go over there, join me when I do my live stream. I am asking for a lot of help. Um, I'm not trying to rush through this and not enjoy it, but I am trying to get through this game because I feel like I'm going to be on this game forever and there are a few games that are out and will be coming out that I want to get my hands on and I don't want to, um, you know, throw this to the wayside. I know I'm probably nowhere near done, but I can certainly, I'm at a point right now where I can certainly use a lot of help in finding weapons, finding certain keys that get me to certain places, um, you know, uh, help with magic because I do want to use, I want to try to utilize what I have. Um, I believe there are certain medallions I still have to get. Like there's so much that I still have to get. But just make sure that you guys, you know, are on standby because I may be gaming within the next half hour or so. Um, but other than that, you guys, I've been doing pretty good. Pretty good. Um, a lot of you want to know how I've been feeling after my fast. I've actually been pretty good. So it has been a full week since I finished my juice fast. And I got to tell you guys that my eating habits have changed. I cannot eat as much as I used to. I have barely been eating breakfast. I think the last time I had breakfast was probably Sunday. And I'm not talking about yesterday. I mean like last Sunday. It's so weird. I get up early in the morning and, well, not that early, but I get up in the morning, I have my coffee, and it just seems like the coffee is just kind of suppressing my appetite. So then I'll have some juice. Like, I'll still juice. I'm still juicing. I'm still having my lemon ginger blast. I'm still juicing. You know, if I feel like having some fruit juice or I have orange juice in the fridge, I'll have that. Um, if I have some fruit, I'll eat that. But for the most part, I have actually been going on just liquids until probably like around this time, which is probably like around five or six. That's, excuse me, that's when I start getting hungry and then I'll make dinner or if we're out and about like this weekend, we went out and we just ate out. Well, I ate out. Um, so yeah, like, and it's weird because even, you know, we went out and I ate, um, you know, a, a good sized portion of something that we would normally eat at the place that we went to and I couldn't finish it. And I'm like, man, like it is amazing to me how your body, your appetite, what you want, what you crave changes. Like today I had a salad, like I was really craving a salad. The other day I made dinner and I made a pack of chicken and it took me like three days to finish it. And I love rice. I love rice, you guys. And I love making my rice with like um, chicken flavored um, bouillon. And it's really, really good. But normally, like I would literally have like half a plate of rice. Like I just love rice. But and, and that would normally probably be about this portion. I literally had this much rice. Like it was a lot less than I normally would have. Um, I only had like maybe a one piece of chicken and a half. 
some potatoes. Um, and that was it. That was really it. Um, I think there was another time last week where I was craving pancakes for breakfast. So I made myself some pancakes and you guys, I'm, if you guys have been here long enough, you guys know I love pancakes. Um, and I, I couldn't even have a lot of pancakes. Like it's so weird, but I'm not complaining about it because I, I think I mentioned this before. I feel like I do overeat, even though I don't look it. I do sometimes feel like I overeat to the point where I don't like how I feel after I'm done eating. And I think I eat because I just like the way that the food tastes, not because I'm hungry at that point. There's a point where I feel satisfied and then I keep going because the food is so good. Like that's not right. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm a foodie. I don't know. That's just me. But I feel like this fast has kind of helped me um, with portion control as far as during the day. Like if I feel like munching on something, like I think, oh, there was two days where I had like, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I had like this tuna salad. And I think I did post it on my community tabs here. It was tuna, avocados, like it was really healthy, healthy fats, um, vegetables, like it was really good. And that, you would be surprised if you add healthy fats into your diet, it will fill you up. Like the first time, I think when I did post my salad where I had like tuna, avocado, I had a whole avocado in that salad and that held me over for the rest of the day. Like I didn't eat after that. I think I had some juice and that was it. And also when you're juicing, you're not adding water to what you're juicing. When you're juicing fruits and vegetables, it's just the liquid that comes out of there. So the consistency is the consistency is thicker than store-bought juice because it's not watered down you know so it does hold you over as well so I guess in a sense it, it's a good thing it's a good thing and my senses are still heightened like I taste the flavor of everything I'm eating but other than that you guys I've been doing pretty good my workout today was really good um I did the treadmill I did the stairmaster I worked on my back today um tomorrow I'll be it'll, it'll be leg day for me um but other than that i've been pretty good you guys so anyway aside from that you guys i just continue to maintain a positive mindset as always um and that's something that i always want to encourage you guys to do especially monday mornings i always want to make sure that i talk to you guys about mental health and how important it is for you to free your mind of things that are occupying space that don't need to be there because mondays for most people are usually a stressful day you are going to work Monday morning, coming back from a weekend, there's traffic, kids are back to school, there's work that probably has piled over from Friday, or there's Mondays are your busiest days. I know when I was working a nine to five, um, especially when I was working in the healthcare field, Mondays were always the busiest days. Like it flew by, but it was the most stressful days. And I think there are statistics out there that say that, you know, unfortunately, a lot of heart attacks happen on a Monday because people are so stressed out. They stress out on sat on Sunday because they have to go to work on Monday. And, you know, it, it's it's and I, I read that somewhere. It's a statistic. It's not, you know, me just saying that. But, um, you know, it, it's. It's so important to lead into your work week with a positive mindset. And I want to encourage you guys always to try to not give energy to the things that you cannot control. I cannot stress that enough, but I do know that realistically as humans, it's a hard thing to do. It's hard to not want to have control, full control over every aspect of your life and everything in it. But a lot of the times we stress ourselves out over things that are beyond our control. We stress over things that we think about, things that haven't happened yet. We start adding these extra stresses in our lives when we already have things that bring stress within themselves, be it a family, be it work, um, kids you know and not that they're bad things but it does come with a certain level of stress because you have to do a lot of things within that when you have a family you know it, it's it's tough even when you have a significant other and you both are busy that's tough too you know so i just want to encourage you guys to learn how to start picking away at things that 
are stressing you out that you can't touch, that you can't grasp, that you can't, you know, control. Instead, put that energy into what you can control. Ask yourself, what can I control in my life? I can control, can you control traffic? Maybe if you have a special route that you go to through that you avoid traffic, maybe. But Monday morning, kids are back to school, you're driving through traffic. I don't know if you can really control the traffic. Um, can you control your workload? Maybe. Maybe. Can you control the way that you are organizing yourself at work to make your Mondays a lot easier to deal with? Something to look at. I personally found that when I was working um, my last job before I left Connecticut, I started to kind of put things in certain piles and um, line them up by priority. Instead of having a whole basket full of things that needed to get done, spreadsheets that needed to get sent, meetings that had that I had to attend, everything was all over the place. And so I had to start figuring out a way to organize myself. I use sticky notes a lot to help organize myself. I still use them to this day, even though I work from home. I have sticky notes in my notebooks. I have sticky notes in my journal. I have sticky notes everywhere. It helps me do whatever it is that's going to help you be more organized and relieve stress that any type of stress that you may have that it's an add on. I, I suggest you probably make a list of certain things that you know you can't control and then make another list of things that are stressing you out matter of fact no do that first write a list of things that are stressing you out everything that's stressing you out and then start kind of picking away at things okay well you know what i can control this but i can't control that let me put that over here those very things that you can't control, put that, put them in its own category. And then you kind of start to see, well, okay, well, you know what? If I kind of stop paying attention to this over here that I can't control, I can give myself more energy and more positive energy into the things that I can. You know what I mean? Like you kind of have to have some type of visual in front of you if it helps you to help organize yourself mentally so you can operate in your daily life, not only for yourself, but for your loved ones, for your kids, your husband, your wife, whatever the case may be. But that's just a little encouragement for this Monday, um, because I know Mondays can be, a, you know, pretty stressful. Um, but just pace yourself, pace yourself, take it easy, take things as they come. Don't put so much on yourself mentally that you just kind of you know, sometimes we paralyze ourselves with stress because we pile on so many things. Well, I have to do this and I have to do this. Well, what if this happens? What if that happens? Well, let me prepare for that if that happens. But stop that. <laughs> deal with what you can deal with and then deal with the things one by one that you want to work on so they're not be so they don't become stresses. You know what I mean? So I hope you guys got the message. I hope you guys utilize this. I know a lot of you guys really enjoy these motivational videos and that's why I do them. Even if I'm helping only one, two, three, four, five people at different parts of the world, I feel like I've done my duty here on YouTube. All right. So with that being said, you guys, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys are up to. For those of you who are members, thank you so much for being a member. I do notice that they are going up. At some point, I'm going to be shouting out my members. Maybe when I get to 20, I think that's going to be the mark where I'm just going to okay, come on here and say, hey, you know what? Thank you for these people becoming members. And I'll shout you guys out. Um, but if you guys don't know about my memberships, my YouTube memberships is up. I have two levels over there that you can subscribe to. Uh, level one is $2.99, and that level is going to get you priority replies from me. So... Um, that means if there are 20 replies on one video and you are a member, it doesn't matter if you are the 20th person that commented, you will be the first one to get a reply from me. You're also going to get special polls as well as, um, uh, let's see, that level one. Yeah, special polls, priority replies, and you are going to get, um, I believe it is live streams. Yes, 
You're going to get live streams with me. I'm waiting for that number to continue to go up so I can start doing my live streams because I know not everyone is available to do these live streams at the time that I may want to do it. So I'm just waiting for that to go up. But that will be for members only. Level 2 is for $4.99. You're going to get everything that Level 1 has. Plus, you're going to get all of my reactions to all movies and shows that I watch. Currently, I am watching Dragon Ball, the first season, first season of Naruto, and House of the Dragon. Also, you're going to get all of my uncut Try Not to Laughs. Uh, I guess in a good way, thankfully, I haven't had any, um, any issues, so I haven't been able to put any up there. Um, so everyone has been able to enjoy my Try Not to Laughs recently, but anything that is uncut will be over there as well. Once again, you're going to get all of that, plus what comes with level one. So go and check that out. Thank you guys in advance. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel, hit like and share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up on your feed. I'll see you guys later. Doodle.